guys, I've been working on creating mock-ups using artificial intelligence, those image generators that you hear so much about. So today I'm going to show you how to use Magic Studio, which are some AI tools that Canva offers that you can use on your photos. I'm going to use it on a image I actually created using Dream Studio. Here is my prompt right here, but I'm going to show you these tools real quick just so you can see how powerful they are and what a time saver they are. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to use Magic Eraser. You select the photo, you choose Edit Photo, and I'm going to use Magic Eraser. And basically, what you can do is erase a part of the image that you don't like. This is called in painting, it's changing something on the image. Now, what's going to happen is, well, I want this logo gone because I'm going to use it for a mock-up. So I need this logo gone. But what's going to happen is it's going to take everything that I am highlighting and it's going to turn it into random noise. It's just going to kind of like spread it out. And so I want to get as much yellow in that image as possible so that it is part of what's spread it out. If I only do the dark color, I will end up kind of with a smudge because it takes that dark color and just kind of distributes it. So I try to get as much yellow as possible. And then you just let go and you let the magic happen. You can see I got some smudgy results here. So you've got to go back and do it again. And it, and it gets better and better. Now, one problem I probably made is I added in it some additional darkness by going down too far there. So you want to go just as much capture as much of the color as you actually want so you can actually get pretty good results I'm going to go through this quick so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that okay let me show you something else now we're going to change the color of his shirt so I'm going to use magic edit and basically you just you can be very rough with this you just kind of highlight what you're wanting to change in this case I'm going to change the color of his shirt and I like to get all of it, although they show in the examples you can be very rough, but I like to make sure I have good coverage there. And it's better if you say what you're going to change. So change the shirt. You can just say change to a color, but I I like to specify the object because it knows all those calculations and it knows boop, 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 you know, what area to pick. So I tell it the object and I get better results that way. So change the shirt color to dark blue. You can use kinds of shades of colors. You can't use um, like a hex code or anything. It really just recognizes like your main colors is what I found. I wish I could get more detailed because on the shirts that I use, you know, the mock-ups, I need specific colors. And so that's kind of troublesome there. Okay, you can see here it had some trouble here capturing all the parts. I do have a few options. That was maybe sloppiness on my end because I'm going through this quickly. I actually have got better results in the past on using this. It actually seems to just kind of be at random sometimes. <laughs> like sometimes it works really good and other times it doesn't. So I'm sure it's user error. Okay, background remover. This is pretty cool. It can sense where the main subject is and you just do your background remover. You just click it and you just wait. And basically it's going to take that background. And it's deleted it. It's completely gone. Now, the nice thing about this is if it made a mistake, it left too much or it took away too much, you can use this little tuner icon and you can go in and actually erase more. Or you can restore things that were erased or maybe you accidentally erased them so you can, you know, add stuff back. Uh, pretty nice. Okay, down here is Magic Grab. And actually, I don't know what happened to my picture there. Weird. So Magic Grab is going to separate the subject from the background. So instead of deleting the background, it's just going to separate it. And so now I have this. So I can move him around. I can make him a different color. I can make adjust color adjustments or whatever I want to do, add special effects. That enables me to just edit one part of the image. So I could do like a duotone, a pink duotone effect on this and then add him back in full color. Hey, hold on just a minute. I want to tell you something. If you're interested in creating mock-up photos using AI image generation, then you need to check out my Etsy store where I sell resources that can help you get started like today. This is totally for beginners. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna show you Magic Expand. And this is pretty cool for expanding the boundaries. So if you need this to be resized to a different size, this is really nice. It's just gonna take what it senses there in the background and just expand it outward so that you can expand your scene. I mean, it really is just how it sounds. I have found this incredibly useful when I wanna fit things into frames. So see? Let me show you an example of a frame situation. So here I have this image, and when I drop it in, it cuts off her head, and even though I can adjust it, it's not what I want. I want more of her body in that. And so what I can do is go ahead and expand the area, make this bigger, okay? And that way, it kind of shrinks her and it will make her fit in the frame better in the way I want. This is how I found this tool to be the most useful, honestly. And then you just pick the one you want. Okay, and so now I can drop it in the frame and now I like it because I see the whole person in there. That's how I found that to be useful. So sometimes when you generate mock-ups, you know, you get text on the shirt and that's a problem. And you could use the magic eraser, but there's another option. And I'm gonna show you this other option simply because this is also useful if you have your image generator add text. So maybe you really do want to add text to something. This will enable you to edit the text. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. So you choose grab text. It's going to sense in the picture where it's seeing letters and it's going to separate it from the background. And then at that point we can change the font. So see it's separated it. And let me just zoom in on this. So now I can take that and I'll pull it over here so you can see it. And I'm going to enlarge it. Now I can take it, I can change the font, I can change the size, I can change the orientation, the position, everything. I can change everything about it. And I mean, obviously that's really handy. And it's better if that text is on the shirt to remove it in this way because it doesn't smear any of that color around on the shirt. You remember before I showed you that smearing effect that happens? Yeah. So anyway, those are the Magic Studio tools. Don't forget to check out my Etsy store if you want to learn more. Thank you.